What's going on, guys? It's Sticks here with the Token Minorities, and after a couple weeks of ducking Aura, we have, well, I guess I finally conceded and decided that we needed to do something together again with the TCG. So, uh, yeah, we are bringing you a set review of SM3 and then, like, SM2 plus Best of XY, that kind of you know, jumbled mess. You know, it's kind of true. <laughs> just, I was I was trying to comprehend what you were saying. I was like, this guy actually has been bobbing and weaving all my invitations. <laughs> the truth is, guys, if you guys want to know, Sticks actually hates me. Uh, oh but, yeah, but we're doing SM three. It's uh it's hype time for the TCG community. We're getting a couple new cards, and uh, we're gonna go over everything since we got SM three in Japan released on Friday. Uh, we already know what SM two plus is, which means we pretty much have every card. We know every card that we're pretty much getting in SM3, more or less, minus promo boxes they might do with some of these cards. So, yeah, it makes me so mad that they're doing promo boxes with full arts now. I mean, I'm okay with it. Actually, I'm, it's, well, I don't really care. It's expensive. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm not okay. But with it's it, like but it's yeah. also it's also cheaper to buy them separately now, though, because you don't have to. They're the pull the pull rates no longer are part of it. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Either way, all right. You want to take the first, first one? All right. Let's see. We got Caterpie. Ooh, we got Lord Caterpie. I didn't even realize there's a Caterpie in this set. <laughs> all the memes in the channel. Oh god, um, guys, guys! If you have any Caterpies, please send them all to Oracle. Why everybody likes to send me Caterpies for some reason? <laughs> it has a surprise attack that's pretty, his, pretty his, cool. his tcg name is orabom ab everybody add him and send him all your caterpies oh we have goodbye Bat butterfree i can go over that real quick it's uh it's sad it's the one episode that will make most people cry if you watch the anime and uh, it's pretty pretty bad heal all damage from each of your pokemon for one grass energy then shuffle this pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck if you want to be that guy deck and coverage just doesn't do anything exactly <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, if healing ever becomes a big factor and we get forced back, uh, be my guest. <laughs> uh, we got Tangrowth, anything interesting. He could drain this Pokemon recovers HP equal to the amount of damage onto your nope. opponent's active Pokemon. Lame, Cross Whip, lame. It's a flip card, though. Flip cards are always fun. Oh, we got Glisspot. Hold on, we got Wimpod here. Hold on, this is important. Wimpod. Wimpod, uh, during your first turn, this Pokemon's retreat cost is zero. I guess that's interesting. It's got 70 HP. I didn't realize. That's pretty nice. High HP basic Pokemon are pretty good. And then we got Glispod GX, which is pretty dope. I love Glispod. Uh, my brother loves Glispod. 210 I... HP, Grass type, three decent attacks. First impression, 30 damage attack. There's 90 more damage if the Pokemon became your active Pokemon this turn. We have a couple cards that will help you out. You got Switch, Retreat, Retreating, Flowstone, Zoark, um, the new Guzma, which we'll up. go over. Super Scoop Up as well. Uh, which means you can do 110 damage without a choice ban or without the baby Lorantis on your bench. <coughs> Only 120. One 120. 120. You are right. 120? God. That's so much damage. <laughs> 150 with a choice band, 170 with only one Lorantis on your bench, just for one grass energy. This, this, this is going to be a deck, and it's going to be a good deck. We also got... Armor press, 100 damage during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from your opponent's attack. Very good attack. I like I like attacks that can, can reduce damage because that can really come in clutch in a lot of situations. Plus, Grass Double Colors is a very good attack cost. And then we got Cut Cross GX, 150 damage. Which is Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Once again, the damage numbers are really nice because they're very easily they're very easy to increase. Thanks to Choice Ban, Lorantis, and things like that. So, I'm a huge fan. Retreat cost of 3 sucks. And Weakness to Fire is okay. Volcanian seeing a little bit less play, although Volcanian was pretty big in Mexico regionals. But um, it's not as big as it used to be. So as that's my take on this. But what do you think, Sticks? I mean, honestly, with Forest of Giant Plants being as busted as it is, being able to hit for that insane amount of damage. I mean, just like literally all you have to do is have a Wimpod, a Golispod, a single Grass Energy, and then like Fomantis, Lorantis, and Forest of Giant Plants, and you're hitting for, well, you said it, 170 damage first turn yeah, like knocking out really really right away yeah really easily too because mm -hmm. i mean like i i know i named like a quite a i named like seven eight cards right there but i mean that's relatively easily attainable and searchable with the i mean with well with the current meta so i mean it's yeah this is 
this is going to be a deck, I'm pretty sure. Now, even post rotation, you have uh, it's they're all stage ones. It's not like they're super yeah. hard to put on the field. Uh, you still have ways to search cards. You have Lele. You have or you have Lele to get you Sycamore draw support yeah. you you got you got it it's pretty easy it's pretty easy we've already seen people succeed with the new glyph pod which will pair pretty well the guardians rising glyph pod which pairs pretty well for like an anti gx deck as well uh you can play a 2-2 line if you really want to um and it's a single prize attacker you have this in the back it's 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 gonna be pretty cool and then we got guzman to go through we'll go over guzma later but guzman gets you switch as well so it pairs really really well with first impression yeah, so, I mean, yeah, Glesspod, going to be good. for. I think they finally realized that Forest Giant Plants is the most busted card they've ever printed. Oh, yeah. Uh, we just well, matter, I mean, matter that's, that's, a very, that's a very bold statement, but... <laughs> oh, it is, it is. It's the most broken card they've ever made. I, I can 100% like stand by you with that statement. It's just, the, it, yeah. which is, we didn't notice until they made actually good grass types. And then they kept making good grass types, and then they made even more good grass types. <laughs> <laughs> all right you can go over the next all right cards. so let's see what do we got we got gyarados which i mean okay so gyarados sounds really cool blast apart which <laughs> kind of sounds like you're blasting apart the magic carp 50 <laughs> times the number of magic carp in your discard pilot once again this hits for a dce and is kind of reminiscent of the full retaliation although it's i mean the full thing. retaliation gyarados hits for a lot more damage um, you're able, it's more consistent because you're not just having magic carp in the discard pile all the time. It's on the bench. And honestly, this one, I cannot see being used like at all, maybe as a one of in a Gyarados deck as like a late game attacker. Like, okay, I just need one more big attack. All my magic carp are in the discard pile. All my like buddy, buddy rescues or vibes are there as well. Uh, just one last Gyarados, but I honestly, I really can't see anything beyond that. Yeah, it's not good enough. It's just the, forcing them to be in the discard pile means in order yeah. to hit 150, you have to have all three magic carps that aren't the one you evolve from in the discard pile. Which or means... you can hit for 200 with Archies. That is true, but nobody's <laughs> playing Archie. <laughs> Except for me, my Archie Primarina deck is the best. Just throwing it out there. Um, then let's see, we got Simapore, just mediocre. I don't... <laughs> Those cards will never be good. I'm just, another bold prediction, the Simis will never be good. Pretty like I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. Fifty damage Brux removal and water energy from. <laughs> okay, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> uh, Bruxish, meh, not really. Each of your opponent's bench Pokemon has the same. Okay, synchro no... synchronize. Oh, it's synchro noise in a game that's just one of the most mediocre attacks I've ever seen. But yeah, Bruxish, mediocre again. I think this card could have could be good. Well, not this card in particular. I think Bruxish might have a good card in its future, but that's not now obviously i should probably uh, zoom in on all these cards so they can see the artwork there you go guys sorry about that for earlier. oh yeah mobby oh, yeah. i should probably do that too there there you yeah, go yeah, there's pan uh, dude panpour looks kind of panpour looks like he's chilling though he's just he's jaywalking like this man is swagging out right now i'm just saying he's clicking on that panpour guy this man is actually swagging out on the streets he's had a well, good see, day see, he's, the thing uh, is like he was happy but he's blind, he's like, so he kept walking, and now he's in the middle of the woods, and he see, has no idea where he he's is. He's happy that he's being printed nonstop. He's like, look at me. You may hate me, but I'm getting cards nonstop, so who cares? <laughs> I know, right? And then, okay, so... We got a Pikachu. Wow, water was is, water is just mediocre at best. Oh, yeah. uh, we got Pikachu and Raichu. Raichu, okay, has something. Evo Shock. I noticed that they're starting to do this with uh, Evolutions again. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon... You may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. It's basically a guaranteed Servine, because Servine <clears> is <throat> flip a coin. But Raichu, eh, not honestly, I can't really see that much because it'd be it's a lot better is... if it wasn't our if it wasn't for our current meta. Like this card gives us so many ways to deal with status conditions. Uh, yeah. Being Ace Rolo, Zuber, Scuba, which is a bunch of garbage. So like, it's whatever. Like paralysis yeah. doesn't mean nearly as much as it used to. I mean, paralysis was literally a you bought a turn mm -hmm. like or your opponent had to waste a bunch of resources in order to get out of it but now it's like meh and then it's righteous attack isn't good enough to justify building a deck around because if if its attack was good enough then evo shock would have just been a nice bonus yeah, but evo shock is like the only thing that you would use in this card and that's yeah just no i like your uh, dynamo I really like the artwork on these cards. I like how the Tynamo line has <laughs> no matching artwork, though. Like, they're all different styles. I, th I think they did that on purpose. They were just like, let's make this as non-in-sync as possible. That's pretty wild. Uh, too bad they're not good. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, Aqua Shock, no small appetite, no. Um, wait, how much does it? Oh my gosh, it doesn't Your even hit some damage. Is HP or more. <laughs> Mega Mouth. <And> the... <laughs> Mega Mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go to Zach name. Go to Zach name. Um, uh... Vacuum Volt. Uh, this attack does 80 damage to one of your one of your Pokemon if you do an extra 80 damage for Lightning Lightning Colorist. That's pretty garbage. Moving on. I mean, like, okay, if it wasn't 80 to one of your Pokemon, then sure. It'd be, it'd be the 160 is not bad. For that. Whew, okay, I'll That'd take be pretty that. good. But apparently yeah. you have to damage yourself to the extreme. But we got Saviper, which I'm pretty excited Play about. Mr. Mime. Play Mr. Mime. There oh, we go. It's true. The tech Mr. Mime. I'm pretty hyped about Saviper, though. Okay, you can go ahead and talk about Surviper. Um, as long as this Pokemon is in play, it plays an additional damage count on your opponent's poison Pokemon between turns. So, um, Force of Viper means your opponent's taking five damage counters from poison. Um, I For guess. Us, just throw it in expanded. Yeah, the throwing, yeah that, that with uh, the extra 20 from that one stadium. And then you can play laser. You can do uh, what? <coughs> Excuse me. We can do like 70 damage between turn. <laughs> and that's, just, that's assuming. with Toxic Hex. Oh yeah, dude. It was was that 170 damage between turns? A little <laughs> bit of overkill, but it's there. <laughs> hey, you can do with cards like what? On. What was that card like? Dragology that does like three damage between turns with poison. Oh, uh, it might be the severe poison. Um. Oh, Crobat. Plasma Crobat. Crobat. Oh yeah, Plasma Crobat does that as well. I mean, there's ways. In standard, it's pretty interesting. Um, the forces switches, which is always good. But once again, we have too many cards that can deal with that right now. I mean, now. But... I could see something... Okay, like, keep in mind, I'm not saying, like, this is going to be competitive, but something with uh, Ariado Saviper. Yeah, I could see it. Um, or, like, I, I like... What I've, what I've done before is I played... I played... Um, what was that one card? One card, like an attacker that poisons, and I combined it with um, Toxapex, the one that whenever you switch out, you become poisoned yeah. as well. So that they're consistently taking damage with my one prize attackers. Um, you do something like that if you want like damage on the board just for the sake of it, I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a deck that's going to abuse this and it's going to be a lot of fun. But Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for Survivor. I think it could be some, could be pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Then Let's we got Dust we Noir. Oh, we got the see Duskull is teasing you. Dark Guide, put a basic book from this card pile onto your bench. That's pretty decent. You know, it's too bad that Night March isn't a thing anymore because Dusknor would literally just be like, oh, Joltik, that's a prize for me. <laughs> yeah, what is this? We'll see. Dark Circle, once during your turn, you may look at your opponent's hand, put a basic Pokemon you find there into your opponent's bench, then put three damage counters on that Pokemon. Dude, that would buddy buddy, bro. It's over. <laughs> and then it um, has... Also, Mindjack isn't... Okay, so Dusknor just like has just a little bit... Well, not enough to be good but it's right there i really feel like it's right there with what it's got going right now yeah if we ever get any psychic acceleration then maybe yeah i'm waiting for we... them to start doing yeah. some like stage two acceleration of some kind because they've been they've been really they've been really like digging in the fact that they don't like basics anymore but they really really like stage ones for yeah. some reason we need like dynamotor or metal links for <clears throat> psychic pokemon oh that's not i don't want anything to help psychic because of garbador I want something to help stage two Pokemon in general. Dynamotor for stage ones and stage twos. There you go. Stage twos only. Garbodor's a stage fine. one. Okay, fine. Garbodor's a stage one, bro. We can't we can't be making Garbodor more broken. I'm just saying. <laughs> Garbodor's not broken. It is a very uh meta friendly deck that has definitely not forced people to run less items or different numbers of Pokemon or anything <laughs> like that. Nah, it's busted. It's busted. A good deck. I love how a single card just swap just turn the meta on its head Dude, it's so like, badly. Like, exactly. I love it. I, I love what I love what it's done card. for the meta, but like still fighting it is annoying. Yeah. I love what it's done for the meta. I hate that they had to do that in order to get the meta to this point. Mm -hmm. I mean anyway. It's also annoying because the meta was going to do that naturally after rotation, anyways. Exactly. So like it's annoying in that sense. They just sense kind of too. forced it. Yeah. I don't get it. We got Krogun can talk specs. Krogunk is Wait. saying hi and Toxpex. Wait, where's Toxpex? I mean, not Toxpex, Toxcroak. There you um, go. This, see, look, Toxcroak, poison, poison Toxcroak. jab. This this man right here, poison jab. You attack them with Survipers on your bench. Boom, poison high, Need. eighty damage. Yeah. This Pokemon is poisoned. This attack is eighty more damage. Look at that. Look at that. We're doing big damage. Big damage. Put that with Ariados. <laughs> yeah. 
You don't even need to, bro. You just put you hit him with the poison jab. Just poison yourself. Put that talk one talk specs on your bench, four is vipers, boom, that's like what? That's uh what is that's like eighty damage right there. And then the following turn another fifty, then you hit him with the poison hide and knock him out, boom, it's easy. Too easy. <laughs> then you got mediocre meow stick. Ooh. I I like the alliteration there. Thank you. Uh, and then Necrozma. Okay, so Necrozma. Uh, there's just so much meh about this card. Like, okay, End of Light. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from colorless Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Okay, if there was something... Like, if colorless were significant beyond, like, Dranthotauros in the meta right now, I could see this being decent. But what I think they needed to do was make it immune to psychic Pokemon. Oh, that would have been nice. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have made it broken, but it would have given it something, like some sort of niche in the meta. And then Prism Burst, 10, and then you discard all Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. It does 60 more damage for each energy discarded in this way. I think Prism Burst needed to be a one energy attack, I not agree. a three. I 100% agree. Although, I can, I think it has some playability just because Metagross got big. Um, it's well, definitely course. a one of in Metagross decks, and it's going to be a really good one of in Metagross deck. It's going to make Metagross a lot better. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's not. It's there's there's not a way in our current meta to make it good on its own. I guess. Yeah, I mean, like it it could be. Yeah, like like you said, it could be very good in Metagross. But I think like if you made End of Light keep making immune to psychic types, and then made Prison Burst a one energy, like it'd make it a lot better. But it would not make it broken, I don't think. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Prison Burst does 60 damage. Uh, t- 10 damage, discard all psychic energy attached to this Pokemon. This I already said 60 that. More damage. I didn't, oh, I didn't hear you say it, my bad. <sighs> my bad, my bad. Black Rage None GX G- is interesting. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Fine, you beat me to it. No, no, it was just, it was just, I was embarrassed. <laughs> it takes 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon EX and GX. It's not affected by weakness resistance or any other effects on each of, your, on each of the defending Pokemon. Um, I mean, nice and weakened, I guess. I don't know. It's yeah. a, it's a GX attack of choice. It's just more options, I suppose. It's just really, really heavy with the three attack cost. Yeah. Um, I mean, okay, Black Raid GX, I can understand getting that three cost. Like, I'm, I'm all for that. Like, that makes sense. Prism Burst just needs to be, like, one or two energy, not... Three. See what you need to do with this is that that that, that uh, poison deck we were talking about earlier. Just throw it in there, and then late okay, game. We're moving Black on Ray. before. <laughs> or Aura just starts like throwing like. Okay, what you need is you need to have sixty one Pokemon in a sixty card deck. Like, that's right. You just you have a combination of eighty two pieces. That's all you need. Yeah, like you don't need energy. You don't need items, supporters. None of that. You just need sixty two Pokemon. That's all you need. Rhyhorn's a little cutie. Did you know right? Rhyhorn is a cute is a cute Pokemon. Rhyhorn's adorable, but then the Rhyperior, like it's reminiscent. Uh, I'd, of the I'd, I'd give right on. I'd give right on a hug. <laughs> right on looks I mean, like he, he needs a hug. Look like he wants a hug. He's, he's just he's just roaring for hugs right now. That's all. <laughs> What's that in the background? Is that like a skull grunt or something? Oh, is that what it is? Let me see. Oh yeah, it's a team skull grunt. Look at that. Not gonna lie, it kind of looks like one of the old Digimon. <laughs> yeah, what Loki does. <laughs> that's kind of cool i didn't see that skull grunt there i wonder if he uh i wonder if uh whenever it evolved he died because the right here is looking kind of mad oh my gosh but yeah right Rip- period just i mean mill i no no <laughs> <laughs> oh poor poor sticks with his mill hatred uh God, I, I mean when you play this pokemon from your hand involved when your pokemon during your turn you may discard the top three cards of your opponent's like all right cool so not good. just pair it with charizard because that makes sense Oh yeah, all these stage twos. Oh god, Charizard. Charizard makes me sad. We got sock, but no throw. Sad. Oh, maybe throws in the other part of the set. I don't know. I don't know, but either way, sock's mediocre at best. <laughs> dope brick brick. Damage effect. Dope. Alright, cool. Moving on. Oh, we do uh, we have a new Mudsdale. Mudsdale. Dude, you know I'm gonna pull again. like a million Mudsdales. Oh I'm yeah, mediocre at best. Once again, please tell me it's not a rare. <clears throat> Okay, it says it's an uncommon, good. so we're good. Because it takes 30 damage from this Pokemon and takes 30 damage when your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's what I really yeah. All right, talk about Marshadow. Okay, Marshadow. First thing I saw, like, so first of all, the fact that it's able to use all of the attacks of base Pokemon in your discard pile, I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then, then I thought, wait, the meta is more, like, evolution-oriented this generation anyway. Dang it. Yeah, then you sit down and think about it. You're just like, what could you use? Yeah, and so I immediately thought of Darkrai. 
Like Darkrai, I mean, this is perfect for it. Helps it in the mirror match, just gives it more type coverage, that type of thing. Uh, and then actually one kind of cool interaction I noticed, Marshadow is able to use any of your uh, Alolan basics attacks for free if mm -hmm. they're in the discard pile. So I mean, that's nice and, something. Uh, nice and bull picks. Yeah, I mean, it's not... Okay, Marshadow's no Lele at all. <laughs> yeah, I was really hyped when I saw this at first. And then the more I thought about it, the more I wasn't excited. Because it's just like, yeah. whatever. But it's interesting, right? Like, I can't wait to play a uh, Jolteon Glaceon deck with Marshadow. That's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. Um, Put it with Mew and Marshadow. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, though, like, it's going to be good in Garbodor because it helps in mirror matches against Garbodor. It's going to be good in... Uh, decks like Coco because it's easy to charge up energies or you can Ninja Boy. Uh, any deck that plays Ninja Boy that plays basics like Lapras or something like that is going to enjoy. Um, other than that though, it's just okay. It's just okay. It's other attacks are pretty mediocre pile. too. Yeah. yeah. 120 damage for 3 energies fighting fighting colorless. Reminiscence of Lycan Rock but it's a low HP basic so it's not as yeah. good. And uh, well, 100 Fissure GX is only basic energies which really kills the card since so you want to play strong energies on it if you do play uh, mm -hmm. something with marshadow so um it's just so well weak. i do want to just point out how amazing 100 fishers gx sounds though yeah it does sound pretty intense but it's just well, it's just a what is like the Arantis. seven sided seven star strike or whatever it's gx well, attack is considering how broken marshadow kind of is in singles format or how it's going yeah. to be like being a fighting ghost type is ridiculous. <laughs> that thing has five less base base attack than Scizor and the speed of Weavile. That's Just so throwing dumb. that out there. That's so dumb. I can't wait to I can't wait to abuse this before it gets quick banned. <laughs> Best E killer check in the entire game. <laughs> oh dude, the uh, low and Rattata eradicators are pretty interesting decks. Um you don't think so? Like, let's, let's, let's talk about it. Before rotation, the pre-rotation, uh, if you guys don't know, Load and Eradicate has a free attack. 10 damage, Pokemon has a tool card attached to it, does 50 more damage. So you can do 60 for no energy. You attach a choice band, you're doing 90 to EXs and GXs for no energy. You have I mean, your cool. evolutions on your bench, you, you knock out a bunch of Pokemon. Um, okay, as soon as you bring it. in evolutions, you lose a little credibility. What are you talking about? Flareon, Jolteon, dude, everyone's playing those nowadays. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then you just play, think about it, think about it, think about it. Kukui, 110, 220, Weekly. all right? W yeah, sure, whatever you want to call it. I still, I still think his, I, th I still think it should be Professor Kwee Kwee. Kwee all right. <laughs> Sticks, everybody. <laughs> but, like, it's cool. You knock out Volcanians, you knock out uh, Lorantises, you knock out... Um, it's Loranti. You're, 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 my bad, my bad. <laughs> What's weak to electric in the meta? Eveltal, I guess. <laughs> I haven't seen Eveltal in a long time. I miss it. Nah, that's true. Eveltal's been gone. It's sad. The end of an era. Anyways, it's nice and nice and gimmicky. We just need a reprint of Dark Patch. There we go. It's true. It's true. Let's not do that, though. Aqua Patch is enough. <laughs> Alright, so on to Fairies and Gardevoir. Okay, I'm excited about this. This Ralts is adorable. Okay, <laughs> that Oh my gosh, it does look adorable. It's it looks so... like a flower girl at a wedding. Oh, look at Ralts. Curly is like weird. It's super weird, but Ralts is cute. Oh, I love Ralts. That Curly should Curlia not be smiling that big. enjoying that breeze a little too much. Yeah, just, she's like, ah! <laughs> I'm going to make that my ringtone. Don't you dare. <laughs> I've had people do that. I don't know if you watched my uh, my pack battle thing that I did recently, but I pulled that secret energy and I made like this weird uh -huh. screaming sound. And now everybody has clips of me having weird screaming sounds. I'm, I'm going to put that as my new intro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, instead of why not saying why not, he just goes, ah. <laughs> but anyway, oh, okay, on to the cards because we're getting weird. Gardevoir um, for the 20th time. <laughs> yes. Uh, ability Fountain of Secrets. Once during a turn, you may attach one uh, fairy energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. That's really What does cool. Y mean? Fairy. Because F is fire. Oh, that's why. I always thought that <laughs> that red... It. That's why, but that's ah. also why. <laughs> I always thought that they should have put R for fire for red. You know? I don't know. I, think, I actually think it might be. Or F is fighting. Oh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, and then yeah. R is fire, and then Y is fairy. There's too many Fs in this game. There really is. But, 
So yeah, infinite force uh, for a fairy does 30 damage times the number of energy attached to both active Pokemon. It's literally just a better uh, Tapu Lele. <laughs> Old yeah. Tapu Lele attack in that. not 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 better Tapu Lele. No, no. It's just Tapu Lele. Like, uh, it's, is it's Mega Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo's better. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh and then Twilight Search, search your discard pile for ten cards, show them to your opponent and shuffle them back into your deck. So that is like the late game attack, if I've ever heard of one. No joke. I like I like this deck. Um yeah. I think compared with Sylveon, it's gonna have a lot of consistency. Um seeing how you can just search your deck for cards nonstop. It's gonna be your first offensive Sylveon card. Um, it's gonna be weird, uh, in the current metagame, cause, I mean, to be fair, most decks have to attach three energies to do damage, uh, nowadays, so with one yeah. energy attached, the three, that's like, what, 120 damage? It's not a lot of damage. It's gonna take a I mean, lot it's of energy it's, it, one, Okay, two-shot stuff for <clears throat> one energy, like, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, you have its ability that can charge up as well um energy retrieval is going to be kind of nice i just think i think that once people figure out the metagame this gardevoir yeah. is going to be good because you can really just tech in whatever you want to the deck since you have sylveon uh it's yeah. just a matter of how consistent can you make the deck because you're playing probably a four two four line of gardevoir or maybe like a three two three line and then you're playing like a look like maybe two two three three of sylveon well, it depends just, on how much you're making, how much emphasis you place on Gardevoir and how much emphasis you place on Sylveon. Because if you're just yeah. using Sylveon to set up, then you'll probably go 2-2 two, two, and then 4-2-4. Uh, four, four. But yeah. otherwise, it'll be 3-3, three, 3-2-3. Three, 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 but three. at the same time, you definitely want to have a Sylveon early game because it's kind of well, Of course. So, like, I don't know. But, I mean, fairy, I guess Fairy Garden, but at the same time, like, you have to attach energy. So, yeah. I could see. Yeah, you have to attach the turn. You have to at Fine. least get... Three, two of EV Sylveon. That better... I'm not, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just trying to, oh, think you're of arguing. Like how you're you definitely arguing. Yeah, you're you know, trying you know to, what, you know what? You're Fine. To stir the pot. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think Twilight GX is just like, all right, cool. Now that I used all of my item cards, just put them all back. So we have a better matchup against Guard, uh, Garbodor and, ah, there we go. <laughs> that's actually really true. It's like, that's the only reason. Cause you have to play a lot of items to set this up. I have a, bad well, what I'm thinking that. just, well, immediately the first four you pick all four of your VS seekers. <laughs> There's that. Yeah, and then post rotation, like, where you put back your rare candies. Yeah. <laughs> Are they not gonna reprint VS Seeker? I don't think so, bro. I think I think we had this we had this argument about oh, they're gonna yeah, print VS Seeker, and I was almost positive they were, and then they printed Lele, and then they printed Super Scoop up, and I have a I don't think they're ever printing VS Seeker, at least not in this in this format. Maybe in like two years down the line, but I don't think I don't think we're getting it. I'm just waiting for like SM4 to have just Secret Rare VS Seeker. I'm gonna be really mad the if it is. I'm gonna be really upset if we get a VS Seeker. I'm not gonna lie, because like I'm I'm pretty excited for this new meta because it involves a lot more thinking. It's not gonna be as easy as it's been before because VS Seeker was like baby mode for Pokemon. Um, <laughs> it really was like being able to just get whatever yeah. supporter you want as long as it was in the discard pile. That was too easy. Um, but without That's Seeker, true. there's a lot more thinking and there's a lot more resource management. So well, and then like Lele will be at four in almost every deck. I don't. I don't think so. I think maybe three. three. I think. Three. I think with Super Scoop Up, I think Super Scoop Up is going to be like that Seeker replacement, just so you can do that with Lele. Get instead yeah. of getting cards from the discard pile, you get them from the deck instead. Yeah, they need to pre-print Pont though, because otherwise, like Sycamore, just I mean, discarding things like they're stuck there now. You can't reuse them. Yeah, which is why but cards. Anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's a different conversation. We should have yeah. a. We should okay. have a metagame talk, bro. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be fun, dude. Let us know if you guys want to see that. But anyways, uh, yeah. yeah. Gardevoir is in yeah. interesting. I think Gardevoir is going to be pretty decent. I think it's not going to be decent right away, but with time, it's going to be pretty good depending on what the meta brings, how energy costs are going to look like, and things like that. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see what we got. Shenotic, Shenotic blah, blah, is blah, the blah. ugliest Pokemon to exist. Look at this thing. It's actually disgusting. Who thought this was a fairy type? This is like, this is nightmare fuel. Morlul is adorable, but Shenotic, oh, like, ew, it's gross. It's gross. Zygarde is, okay, that artwork is incredible. Other than that, this one is meh. Dude, that Zygarde's like a pimp in real. I love it. It's very uh, dark. I get Xerneas evolved. Oh, it does, to be funny. fair, to be fair, 150 HP for a non basic. Or non G E X G X basic is pretty dope, uh, but other than that, it's pretty lame. Moving on. Uh, let's see. We got P Z, which reformat when you play this from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon. You may devolve each of your opponent's Pokemon. Blah 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 blah. Basically, it's just you'd rather run an Espeon E X and use an attack rather than try to 
tech a line of this into a deck. I agree. The evolutions, whatever. Um, I mean, it's okay. The evolution is amazing. It, it's good. It's good. If but it was not more ability. accessible. Yeah. If it was more accessible. Why do you uh, have more bewares? Once again, another mediocre beware. How many bewares is that? We got one in base set. We got another one in the next set. I think got we one, got a promo. We got a GX. One. Yeah, we got the promo GX. Now we have this one as well. So there's four, and, and then, all of them are just crap. I'm pretty sure there's like two extras in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, what do you think of Torment Spray? Give me your opinions on Torment Spray. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Choose one card from your opponent's hand and reveal it if it's a, if it's a supporter. Post VS Seeker, maybe in Disruption. Other than that, it's like, okay, you got rid of a supporter. Cool. I'll just grab it with VS Seeker. I'm really excited for like delinquents into torment spray because they usually want to keep their last sycamore in their hand <laughs> that's true. that's I gonna guess. be that's gonna be so mean like it's gonna be one of those impossible combos like red card delinquent torment spray boom play that in sylveon guys anyone playing sylveon get your decks ready for torment spray it's gonna be clean i hate you <laughs> i'm just saying red card delinquent torment spray at least you get to know what their last card is too it's clean it's pretty dope we got Scoop Up back, boys. That makes me so excited. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy because like they're really slowing down the game now. As mm -hmm. if it wasn't hard enough to knock out these big GXs already. Let's just fully heal them so you don't get to knock them out. And uh, not have to discard all the cards. Exactly. With them. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Oh, man. So who's going to abuse this? Coco's going to abuse this. Um, Metagross yeah, is yeah. going to love this. Like, oh my god, Metagross is going to love this. Yeah, because like... You have to try to play it back down. That's a problem. No, that's not going to be a big deal as long as you have some evolutions down. Because Metagrosses are like playing a thicker line of Matang. Yeah, I guess. Like 4-3... Four, three, or 4-3-4. Four, four. Yeah, and then as long as you have like other red candies. They're not going to use up all their evolution resources early game. Because yeah. they, just, they just don't. They just want to manually evolve most of the time. So Metagross is going to really like this. Not to mention like... This is because you can reattach as well. And... um it's just more healing. It's good for Lele, so I think it's just going to replace Max Potion, to be honest, just because of Lele. Yeah, um, definitely. So uh, We got Guzma, which, I mean, confirmed oh, Lysander rotated. Oh, yay. Go dude, ahead. Dude, I'm so excited about Guzma. Dude, Guzma's so strong. <laughs> it's such a strong card. Switch your opponent's active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon, then switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. It's Escape Rope meets Lysander meets Amazing Supporter card. Uh, being able to switch is really nice in our current meta since we have cards like Coco, you have Float Zone, you can, you can work around it very easily. It's good for me because I play Ninetales and I can use Guzma, put my Ninetales back on my bench, Aquapatch it twice, put it back into the active and knock something out. Like A lot of combo pieces with it. It's really, really good in Metagross for the same reason because um, that way you don't, you're not forced to charge up uh, your active every time things like there's a lot more plays you can keep energies on the active as well as opposed to like retreat it manually and you don't have to run floatstone i think being able to switch with a supporter that is an olympia is so good <laughs> it's so I think, good i think this card will cause an increase in <clears throat> free retreaters specifically tapu coco the promo i yeah. think it's also because, I mean, it's so well, it's so techable in almost every single deck. Mm -hmm. And then it's a, just a very easy, easy Guzma into uh, Coco. Not to mention, to like... Treat back into what you want. Yeah, not to mention we're not losing Floatstone. It just it just goes back to timing well with your tools. And, yeah. And, oh, man. Playing I'm, smart. Playing smart. Yeah, I know. This is what I'm, I'm excited about this meta, man. Like, you actually have to play smart to do well. Who actually likes playing smart, though? That's I know. Brainless play is where it's at. All right. So we got Wiki. Eh. I know. It's okay. Each player shuffles their hand into their deck, then draws a new hand the same number of cards. Uh, I was really excited because it's Wick, but, like, it's whatever. It's not It's not a great... It's not a good card at all. People are saying, like, post-rotation... Uh, post not, not this rotation, but the next year's rotation. Play it instead of N. I don't even think you do that, guys, to be honest. No. Like, we're probably going to get different draw supporters by then that are way better than this. Uh, yeah, we got then... Poe Town, which hey, look, Garbodor. <laughs> yeah, but actually, replace Aqua Super Gear Base <laughs> or Magmas. Magmas. Oh my God! Is it once we when we thought Garbodor would get weaker, and nope, it just nope. stays the same. 
Uh, each player plays four. a card from their hand to evolve uh-huh. the Pokemon, plays three damage counters on that Pokemon. It's really, really annoying for a current meta too. Like, oh god, that yeah. puts that puts my Nine Tails in range of Drample. Well, That's so sad. What, well, what it does is Metagross. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, when to, in, to get a Metagross without a rare candy, you have six damage counters on it. Oh no. Oh no! It puts it at one ninety. Oh no! <laughs> Greninja break. Oh my gosh! If you get a Froki all the way up to Greninja break, that thing's gonna have hundred and twenty on That's on it. So bad. Oh, Potown's so scary. It's actually or, just no hundred ninety. Oh. Not no ninety. Not hundred and twenty. Ninety. I'm I'm dumb. All right. Anyway. Okay. Can we just point out how awesome Necrozma is? The full art is. is. It looks dope, bro. I love that purple background. Yeah, that's so this sick. About, this about looks kind of lame, I'm not going to lie. But whatever, yeah. you can't do much. Marsh Shadow looks pretty cool. Gardevoir looks... I, I like Gardevoir's Hyper Air the most, but dude, Guzma's Full Art, my boy. <laughs> that thing <laughs> looks insane. I love how these Team Skull cards have that colorful background, bro. Yeah. It's really, really sick. He's we just got... so <laughs> chill. He's just like, yeah. We got Wick. Uh, they definitely did not hide any of her assets in this full art. I'm pretty, okay. I'm pretty so okay. So, did with you that. notice that when this was announced on Poke Beach, mm-hmm. uh, like the you know the little like cut that they show as like a preview of the card? Oh yeah, I saw it was that. literally just that, and I'm like, seriously, seriously, guys, <laughs> dude, I'm just saying she's a fan favorite for no particular reason. Nope, um, no, 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 not not another great. fan service dude, card for the- sure. <laughs> Marsh Shadow Hyper Rare and Gardevoir Hyper Rare look the best. Yes. They look yeah, amazing. I, I concur 100%. They look spectacular. All right, I'm pretty happy. Okay, can you guys go back down? Thank you. Uh, and we get to, of course, I told you, I told you the second they announced this card, we're getting a secret rare of that. Like 100%, I knew Dude, we were, we're going to get a secret, secret rare of literally everything. <laughs> this is so stupid. I, I mean, now I'm confirmed that we're getting a secret rare of everything, but like I just knew, like, oh, they're reprinting uh, Super Scoop up. We, ha- we have to get a secret rare. That's just all there is to it. And we also yeah. got Rescue Stretcher. I wasn't ready for that. I'll tell you that much. I, I, looked at, I looked at it and I was like, huh, didn't see that one coming. Glad I'm saving all my Guardians Rising so that I'll be able to get these secret rares. No joke. I need to get me at least four Super Scoop ups. <laughs> at least four? At I'm, least. Let's see, four. I'm going to get. I'm getting four scoop ups, three stretchers. I think. I think there's I'll... gonna be that one, that one random deck that runs three stretchers that I'm gonna want it for. No, nah, I'm never gonna play that deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get just one stretcher, and maybe two. You know two, we have, and then a super rat. There we go. <clears throat> With these sets, we're, the only secret energy we're missing is water. I just want to throw that out there. Oh yeah. We have every oh, energy I'm, I'm, but water. I have to get a, I have to get a full play set of dark. Like that's unfortunate but that's yeah i have to i'm glad that we're not getting water yet because i have to get all these other secret rares and i need water is the only one that i really want to get a full place out of <laughs> yeah metal is the only one that i've gotten so far and oh i have 10 psychics now oh congrats yeah the only deck that's good with psychic is garbador and i'm really mad that i have 10 psychics so i never want to play garb <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, then you'll hate my video that's coming out. Uh, yeah, that's well, all right. Tonight, I don't know when we're going to actually post this. I think we'll post this tomorrow morning. Yeah, that sounds good. All, all right. right. Dope. Uh, we got anyway. Vileplume back in the meta. Vileplume's so cool, bro. Uh, it's going to be impossible to get out. Or not really, but like Bitter Pollen is really, really cool. And it just adds to the fact that I think Pokemon is just shafting basics forever. Yeah, in an evolution heavy <clears throat> meta, I'm sure that Vileplume will be amazing. No, I don't think it's going to be great. But I think, like, now, like, think about, like, decks like Coco. Do you think they're going to fear this? We have no way to, t- like, with, with Hex Paint and Maniac rotating, we have no way to turn off abilities. Dude, so, it's like, Garbatox and Garbador. That's not rotating. Oh, yeah. Of course. We just throw that in the Coco deck. That's good. <laughs> definitely don't want to use Coco's ability or anything. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, this is, like, this is definitely reminiscent the pyroar that was actually able to have a deck all to itself that was able to do decently yeah this one's not a good deck but it's all right so we have if you we have hair cross with the question mark question mark ability you know they should be able to read it by now i don't know why they haven't updated it but it's okay it's an okay card no it's not it's bad <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's literally I mean, only it's okay. no such thing as a bad card what are you talking about <laughs> well i mean you kind of have the Simi right below it so yes there is such a oh, thing as a bad card you're right and then we have a raquinid which vastly inferior to the other one uh well i mean i guess bubble net like 
but it only keeps them from attaching to the defending Pokemon, so they can attach to their bench, especially with Guzma being able to switch everything out. Like, it's, no. Yeah. It's amazing how, like, all these cards sounded so good until we learned about Guzma. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Guzma is just... Well, I mean... <gasps> Dude, this Char Charmander card is so sad. Oh, it's because he knows he's about to die because Dude, it's, it's it's from the first episode. Or not the first episode, from the from the early episodes whenever he's on the tree stump and he's just waiting. Yeah. That's so sad. It's raining. It's so sad. I love it. I need like th four of these. I need like four reverse hollows of these. Oh, it's so by the way, Ash looks like a mole. Ash like looks he, like he, a mole? He, yeah, like a mole person. Like his face. They did something with his face in the current anime that he just oh. looks kind of like a so some confused. sort of animal. I guess. I'll have to look at it later and take notice. But anyway, okay, Charizard, go. Oh, guys, it's really exciting for three energies. You can do 70 damage. Uh, for four, five energies, you could do 300. But you have to discard four, three water, fire. Yeah, it's whatever. It's just another, it's just stereotypical Charizard. Heavy hitting attack, big damage, but too Complete much energy overkill. cost. Yeah, too, like too high of an energy cost, too negative of an impact. And. It's that now. Said, it's you a can stage bet that we're two. both gonna do a deck on it. No, we're all gonna do a deck on it. We're all gonna play Ho Charizard. It's just gonna be a thing. Um, <laughs> but we're all gonna play it and go. Man, I can't wait to never touch this deck again afterwards. Exactly. Um, I have so many decks that are like that. <laughs> Raging out GX. Let's guard the top ten cards from your opponent's deck. Now this is gonna be the only thing that helps you win a match, <laughs> Charizard. But actually. Oh, I don't out. expend all their resources trying not to get KO'd by Crimson Storm by the one Crimson Storm that you're able to get off per game. And then Pretty all of a sudden much. it's like, oh, I have 10 cards left. Oh, raging out GX. All right. And the and worst part is, like, well, I feel dumb. you can't play this with Ho-Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but Raging Out GX has such a cool, strong attack. Like, that's really, really strong. It's the only thing that makes Charizard somewhat viable, but at the same time, it's you're still a Charizard. 250 HP. Although the art is pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Like that is some savage artwork. Um, but they always do well on the Charizard artwork. Yeah, they go all in with it. We have Ho -Oh GX too. Something that I was personally really excited about. Uh, it's okay. I think it's definitely a deck that could be played with Kiawe. Um, having 190 HP basic. I mean, we saw Lapras succeed whenever it came out, so obviously there's some playability there. Um, Sacred Fire for the damage when your opponents. Pokemon. It's not great. Um, it's just nine tails, but it costs an extra fire energy. Um, it's not. It's not worth attacking because you're gonna have four energy anyways, thanks to Phoenix Burn and Kiawe. We'll talk about Kiawe when you get there. But 180 damage with Choice Band. That's 210 damage. Is a lot of damage for four energy attack, which is obnoxious. But Kiawe lets you put four energies on a Pokemon from your deck, so it's it's feasible. Um, <clears throat> so that then, combine it with the retreat thing that you used to do with the last person. Guzma Can you as say well. Guzma? Yeah, Guzma as well. It's uh, it's pretty exciting. I think it, I think it's uh, I think that damage output is pretty okay. Uh, it's still basic fire. It's not the greatest, but it's, it's workable. Eternal Light GX is cool. Uh, definitely gonna play this with Tech Incineroar just because Incineroar is a fun card. Uh, put three in any combination of Pokemon EX or GX from your discard pile into your bench, uh, which means you can put any stage evolution, including Mega Pokemon. From your um, discard pile onto your bench as long as they're fire types. Uh, what mega fires are there besides mega zard? Dude, there's mega hound doom, bro. All right. Yeah, it's all garbage. There's nothing good. Like this, this GX attack isn't good yet, but it's probably going to be good in the future. It's one of those cards that just just wait till there's really good fire types and then you can do it. Um, yeah, that's not really much else to say about how ho. Oh, oh. uh, we got another semi useless. Ooh. Keep more useless. <laughs> semi playable. <laughs> oh my gosh leave <laughs> Kingdra okay Kingdra I am very 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 torn on if it wasn't for because, the stage 2 it would be pretty fun <laughs> well the thing is like we've seen stage 2's obviously have some success I mean obviously they're super ridiculously mega bulky yeah that's but, the reason <laughs> oh exactly but I mean if the meta continues to slow down as much as it does like okay say to it, it slows down to an extreme then King Jura will be good. I because think Brian cool. is interesting, but the fact that it has that prerequisite where they have to have damage counters on it is pretty annoying. Cause Well, that's where you use Tornado Shot. Yeah. That's true. But you can't like do turn one damage. I guess water arrow is pretty cool. 
does 30 damage when your opponent's Pokemon. I guess combine it with Water Arrow from Seedra is pretty decent. Uh, Wait, hold Scarlet. up. What's the what's that? Where those dumbbells or whatever? Does that work on stage twos? Nope. No, stage one. Never stage mind. Ones. Um, okay, never mind. Forget yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I wish Kingdra was a little bit bulkier. Like it's all there is to it. Like if Kingdra had just like one, I'd be happy with one sixty HP to be yeah, honest. But one forty exactly is just so say. low. It's just, yeah, it's just so low. The fact that it just loses to itself in the mirror match is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> Discard a water energy from this Pokemon attack with 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So tornado shot's really, really strong. Um it's all one energy oh, it's attacks. Nice yeah, it is true. Um it's literally nice for you, actually. I didn't notice. Um yeah. and Brian is good. You can you the fact that you can do 180 and two attacks is really, really strong to anywhere on the field once you get it done. So uh, it's 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 cool. Um I think Cedra needs to have water duplicates. Yeah. I think I think you can play it. I don't. Th I don't think there's any issue with playing it because it, you just have to build it like similar to how you build cards like uh, the current Gyarados deck. You just have to make it mm -hmm. mad consistent, uh, and you don't mind because you kind of have that. Uh, what was it? You you kind of have um, your one prize attacker, which means Garbodor isn't the biggest deal. But the issue with it is that you can't actually. It'd be easier if you could Oko Garbs, but you can't Oko Garbs. Yeah. So a good Garb player will still outplay you like easily. Yeah, ninety damage. If it well, was I mean, then again, like if you could, if you can stream tornado shots faster than they can stream Garbodors, then you can. I mean, you can Oko them by ninety to the active. Yeah, well, well, you're knock still out the active Trubbish. Put thirty on two of the Trubbish on the bench, yeah. then just continue it. You're still a stage two though, which is the issue. Yeah. It's going to be pretty which hard to pull that you off. might just want to target down like the Leleys or something like that, but then you get this weird yeah, interaction. But then they just they just that. don't play the Leleys. That's the thing. Like, yeah, they know better than to play the Drampa and Leleys, or they should. No better than yeah. play the giant bro in this matchup. Okay, so King Draw very torn on. Yeah, still so we'll we'll see we'll see how good it is, but I I'm I'm a fan of it. I just yeah. wish I had a little bit more HP. Same. Meryl, dude, man. Meryl looks saggy. <laughs> the artwork looks does. saggy. He looks like he got deflated. And uh, here we go. My personal favorite from this set, Wobbuffet. Of course. <laughs> it's actually good too, which I'm hyped about. I think it has some uh, playability. I just wish Shadow Knot wasn't three psychic. I wish it was two. Yeah, if it was two, it would have been amazing. 50 for each retreat cost in the opponent's active Pokemon. So you knock out Garbs. So that's pretty cool. Dude, you'd knock out Garbs if they just had two retreat cost. <laughs> they do only have two. Do they have two? Or do they have two? Do they? No, they have three. That's right, because they have one. Yeah, I was about to say, Garb is fat. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, I think it's interesting. I think with, yeah. I think with uh, that Energy Baton card... It has something going for it. Mm -hmm. Put the energies all back on another Wobble Fit. And you just play it with that. We have that new stadium that increases retreat for basics, which is good. Um, you pair it with that. We got um, we got one other card. Oh, I guess I guess Team Magma's Muck is rotating. Muck, yeah. Isn't there another card that increases? It's a uh, oh yeah, um, Dougie. Alolan Dougie. That's right. So you have that. So definitely, just... definitely, like it's just. It's just another card to add to that one Sharpedo Duck Trio deck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And moving on. Super good. Super good. Super good. Uh, Scolipede just honestly just take out one Psychic from each of its attacks and then it'd be decent. But yeah, with its attack cost currently, it's just meh. Dude, that Venipede. Is it Venipede? The middle evolution? Yeah. The Whirlipede. Whirlipede. Whirlipede is such a cool looking Pokemon, bro. It's just a wheel with horns and eyes in the center. It's such a cool looking Pokemon. Oh yeah, Skullpeed's bad though. Moving on. <laughs> What's Palisander? I don't even remember reading Palisander. Awful. The funny Pokemon can't retreat. Once again, next too turn. many energy. Hundred damage. Discard all energy attached to both active Pokemon. You have a four energy attack, and then you make mm -hmm. me discard it as an attack. What kind mm -hmm. of garbage is that, Pokemon? <gasps> There's a Lucario next. I just saw yep. it. Yep. Oh, I'm so excited. Mario, that Riolu, yeah, that, Rio, that Riolu, that. dude, this is the best set. <laughs> dude, this Riolu, this Riolu is adorable. Look at him running in the sand. Looks he's, like he's Sonic, training. dude. He's training. He's out there. Sonic the Riolu, bro. Lucario, I'm, I'm gonna make this work. Determination. When you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may prevent all effects of your attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. Hold on, hold on. When you play a Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, that's different than what I thought it was. I thought you had to evolve into that Lucario that turn. But you can evolve any Pokemon in the field, and then this Lucario is immune to damage. Is that how it works? Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah. that's good. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's good. Shut up. It's good, and it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it's good. It's got Submarine Vote 3, Fighting Energy. It's easy, easy. Just play Energy Baton. 
Um, Good God. <laughs> see, all you have to do is just streamline two Lucarios on the bench. That's it. Nothing else. <laughs> if you could see my screen, you'd see that I'm already scrolling. Down. No, don't scroll. Lucar Look at that artwork. It's super intense, dude. Nope, dude, John. Can you feel the aura? No, nope. I'm, I'm thinking. Nope. Let, let me brainstorm. I'm brainstorming right now. Um, right, I'm going to make it work. Somebody let me know in the comments down below Ooh. how you would make this work. Oh, yeah. Talk about with uh, Max Potion. Just throwing th that out right now. I think now. it's pretty good. I think Rabama is going to be pretty strong. Um, I mean, once again, I hate strong playing energy, Regirox. Expand. I hate playing Regirox. Regirox, Regirox, yeah. Regirox work with this. Um, this Pokemon does damage to itself, equal number of damage counters on it. Not to mention, you just kind of avoid taking damage ever. And uh, I mean, who cares if you knock yourself out anyways? As long as you're getting those big knockouts. 80 for exactly. one energy. It's, yeah. 130 damage with strong and choice band. That's kind of wild. And then for Retro Rock, 170. <laughs> oh, man. I like it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Kui, play a Kui Kui and you're hitting for 190. I hate that you say Kui Kui. <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> Pissimian is ugly. It no, is okay. Other oh, the other dude, look at him throw that ball, Lucario. Lucario is ready to catch it, though. It's okay. He's good. He's good. Why is it so bad? Why doesn't he get fire punch? He clearly has his hand is clearly on fire. Does Pissimi not get fire punch? I don't know. They should Probably make not. an exclusive I'll look, one. I'll look it up while you talk about Alolan Muck. All right, cool. Ooh. Ooh. You guys probably already saw my video about Alolan Muck, but I have a video about Alolan Muck for my competitive analysis series. Go check that out. Shameless plug. Uh, but Grimer is cool. Grimer is search your deck for Alolan. Grimer put it onto your bench. Nice and multiply. Free attack. It's pretty decent. 80 HP Pokemon. It's amazing. It needs to be one more. It needs to be two Alolan Grimer. Dude, that would be amazing. Let's, but let's not get crazy. I mean, that's cool because you just play Bridget. You get yourself Alolan Muck Grimer. Uh, you get yourself you get yourself one Grimer, two Salandids, and then you use multiply for another Grimer. You have you have three Grimers on the field with two Salandids on the bench as well. So <clears throat> there you go, free attack. And then you got a Muck GX, two hundred twenty HP, the fattest stage one we've had so far. Combine it with muscle dumbbells, it's two sixty. Not something I recommend, but it's just it's just out there options, you know. Um, <laughs> weak to fighting is not great with Marshadow, but once again, we've already talked about Marshadow not being that amazing right now. Uh, but it does kind of suck in your matchup against um, Garbodor because they're going to be taking in a Marshadow and Garbodor Drampa. But regardless, Simeon does not get Fire Punch. Oh, uh, well, then they should make a, an event Pokemon that thanks to the TCG because that's clearly Fire Punch. Like, that's clearly Fire Punch. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, for a dark and a DC, you have Chemical Press. 10 damage is attacked with 70 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, that is good. Because uh, if you have Salandit and evolve with Salazzle, you're giving them Poison and Burn, which means you're doing an extra 140 damage. So that's 150 damage. And then they take the Poison and Burn damage between turns. That means you're hitting 180 by the end of the turn. So and that's a good number. And up, you can able, you're able to uh, avoid your Salazzles. <laughs> exactly. And you can use that to avoid being knocked out with your incredibly tanky Pokemon. Um, you also have Raichu. Okay, 220 for a stage one is amazing. It's, it's insane. It's so, so fat. Um, and then, like, what was, it? What was I going to say? Um, you also have Raichu, whatever. Who cares? You, you probably only want to play Salazzle because 180 is yeah. good enough. Because if you have Choice Man, that's 210. 210 is way more than enough. Not to mention you have Kikui as well to make it 230 in case you really, really want to do it. And then you have the whole between Wait. turns. To knock Hold them out. Up. Huh? How, what does Salazzle do? I thought it just poisoned and burned. That's it. Well, the poison and yeah. burn does 30 damage at least. Minimum. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Guaranteed 30 damage. And then afterwards, it's at least 10 if they don't switch out. So that's cool. Crunch is good. You're probably never going to use it. But it's no. good in situational attacks. Just one extra energy card, and it does 120 damage. So if you don't have any Salazzles down, you can disrupt a little bit, discarding an energy. Although most of the time, you're probably going to get a knockout. Um it's an option. And then it has a free GX attack and Hazard Tree X. Not great. I think it's a pretty bad GX attack, uh, but I think it's an option. Uh, the new uh, You choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon switch where they're active. The new Pokemon is now Poison, Burn, and Paralyzed. Uh, well, once again, cool that you can Paralyze, but not cool about how easy okay. it is to so avoid. See, like you, you say that it's such a bad GX attack. I think it's, okay, combination N... Uh, late game, like a late game N plus try hazard GX for free. Mm -hmm. I actually think is okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I think it's I think it's decent. Um, well, especially for free. Like mm -hmm. I'm actually okay with the with the GX with the free GX attack being something that you can uh, get out of easily because I mean it'd be one thing if you have to power up like 
if you had to have two darkness and two in a DCE in order to be able to use it, but it, because it's free. No, I agree. I think it's, I think it's okay good for it. it's free. It's for its cost. Like, yeah, it's cost efficient. <laughs> it's for, it's that four retreat cost, man. It's just so monstrous, but that's okay. We got, we that's got, we got cards. Yeah. We got dark Rye next, Ooh, look which at that. I mean, they're, I don't think they're incapable of printing a like truly awful dark Rye. That's true. Like do? even this dark cry is decent. Dude, it does 160 like damage for dark and DC. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. that's wild. <laughs> like a one of in a dark cry deck, maybe. To take advantage of those decks that use GX attacks early. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Malamar, nothing. Diancy, potentially tech into a uh, guard or deck. Happy. <laughs> oh, Diancy, the, the, those do evolve, right? That's his whole thing. Dude, yeah, I love the artwork on it. Uh, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, put it onto your Pokemon. Yeah, you could do this instead of Sylveon. Uh, yeah. Same thing, different Maybe. way. I like Sylveon more because you can get more options with it. Oh, well, like exactly. Sparkling Prayer is pretty decent. I wouldn't. I would either play this or Sylveon. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't play them both. Yeah. Diamond Storms, whatever. Cute to fly. Another one of the low XP Rambombi. I don't know why are they doing this. Like this is this is set three, right? Yeah. Why are they repeating cards from set one? It's literally been six months. <laughs> They're literally, this is like, this is like the fourth or fifth reprinted Pokemon. Yeah. I don't want to say whatever Pokemon. Noivern! Uh, talk about Noivern. Nope, for skipping. Me. No, you don't want to talk about Noivern? Nope. Yeah. Well, okay, but I want to know your honest opinions about Noivern. Like, do you think, how meta-defining do you think it's going to be since we're losing Double Dragon Energy and the fact that... Well, I guess one. if we're losing Double Dragon, then it's fine. Then it's you fine. You think so? I'm, yep. I'm still worried about it because, once again, with the meta being slowed down, I don't think it's that hard to get out two basic energies on a... On True. a on a Neuvern, I think it's still going to be like people. I feel like people okay. are really, really, really downplaying Neuvern. There's so many people there I know is, that are just talking. There about is it. never going to be an item lock strategy that isn't somewhat meta impacting. Yeah, I think people are just like so. They're so tunnel visioned about like Garbodor. Like people aren't playing items as much anymore. Yeah. Um, people and but like you got to understand that. If you think just if you think just post rotation, you're not able to play your ultra balls. You're not able to play your super scoop ups. Um, it's that in itself exactly. is already really really bad. But there are some decks out there that want to play their choice bands so that you know you can actually knock out Noivern, Aqua Patch. Um, I'm just trying to think of as many options. Give me some options. Um, <laughs> no. Rare candies for your evolution Float decks. Stone. Float stones, like. Uh, it's it's going to be at the very most annoying and 50 damage 80 with a choice band your opponent can play items um loud sonic is pretty good as well for all but you're probably never going to be using it because most decks are just going to play Vespaquin. straight yeah Vespa, oh. well, i guess it's getting rotated yeah Vespaquin's rotating i mean in the meantime well i guess it'll yeah. be rotated well, i i think i think for sure i don't know how good how good is noivern with double dragon i don't even think it's that good right now with double dragon I don't know. I think it would think, still be pretty. I think it's, I think, I think it would it's just great. be like a well think, with the yeah well with the meta slowing down. I think like it's just like okay, so we don't have the turn one item lock. Not too huge of a deal. Yeah, it's not like and, and because of, and that's that's not a big deal either because everyone's playing slower. So like the, nobody's digging through their deck to get every card yeah. that they need right away. Um, Fifty damage, okay. eighty damage is so bad. It's so much damage. For the, your opponent to just not do anything. You have to rely. You can't play max elixirs. Uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I think it's going to be a little bit more meta impacting than people are saying. Is it going to be terribly meta impacting? Probably no. not. Probably but, not. But at the same I mean, time. It's, it's going to be there and it's yeah. going to have an impact. And then Soundwave GX is just strong. Doing 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's really good. Late game Soundwave to just. Since like you're going to be trying to manually retreat to avoid being knocked out all the time. All they have to do is like Soundwave GX and then just end your soul. Although, once again, it does involve Psychic Energy. So, I don't know how often Nova is going to be playing Psychic Energy. But I can tell you this. This is going to be a nice... There's going to be a nice Dark Ride Noivern deck out there. And it's going to be strong. Unfortunately. Alright, going... Moving on, because I hate Item Lock. Hey, uh, look, non-Alolan version. Interesting. Yeah, bad, bad. Hoot, hoot, knocked out. Old bad, bad. Um, I wish Noctowl was a good uh, Pokemon. Noctowl is such if a Noct cool Pokemon. Okay, if Nocturnal Assault was a DCE instead of three, then I People could see some one gimmick Pokemon use. Card you find there? Interesting. Especially I mean, with well, especially the Lolan Vulpix now. Oh, yeah. Hypnotized. Um, 
Yeah, both want no, no way back. No. I like the description. Your opponent's ex Pokemon was now asleep like me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. That's awesome. It's like the Jigglypuff with Bitch Slap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got Noivern. All right, Alolan Rot a Rotom Dex Pokefinder. Alolan mode. Rotom. Oh, that's, that's just my bad. Look at the top four cards you deck, put them back in any order you like. Or shuffle them I mean, back into your you're deck. Gonna do yeah, I mean, this is decent, but I feel like if you want that type of thing, just puzzle. Yeah, it's whatever. It so you matter. have the option to double puzzle. Muscle Dumbbells, if they could be played on like stage one and twos, then I could see something. Yeah, muscle dumbbells is okay. I think I think my biggest worry with muscle dumbbells is kind of alleviated because when I, I was playing Sylveon for a bit, and the reason why Sylveon was okay was because with the Kikui you can knock out Garbs, but you can't do that anymore with muscle dumbbells. Muscle dumbbells put Garbs at 160 XP, which is a lot of XP. But Sylveon's bad, so it's whatever. <laughs> um, Don't play Sylveon, yeah. you horrible person. What's wrong with Sylveon? Look, I'm the offense of Sylveon. That's all it's worth. Oh, okay, okay. Um, offense of Sylveon. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Just field blower into. Yeah, uh, field blower. You have to play. You have to always have field blower into Kikui, which you can only do so many times. Um, but, uh, no, you have it easily. No, yeah, you got puzzles. You're, you're Sylveon. Yeah, that's true. You Puzzle. just. Puzzles a thing. Both of your attacks in one turn. I know. Muscle dumbbells is not good. I think it's. But, just, uh, I think. I think it's an option though. I think people should look at it. And consider playing in their deck once again. Once the meta gets figured out and people can figure out how often exact numbers are hit, muscle dumbbells might have some playability. Uh, but other than that, it's whatever. Yeah. Okay. So now we have Kiwi. Uh, how do you feel about it, Mr. Fire Dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Like I, I, my laughing should tell you all that you need to know about excited? how I feel about this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Turn yeah. ones, dude. Oh yeah. Turn ones. Ah, well, nice I mean, and strong. Just Lele, Lele into <clears throat> Kiwi. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that on. wrong on purpose yeah. to try to trigger people you. People get so mad at me whenever I say it wrong. Kiawe. All right. Kiawe is good. Kiawe is strong. Nice and Volcanian buff, as if. They were just it's easy. Pokemon was just like, you know what? We really shafted Volcanion with these Aqua Patches. Might as well, mm -hmm. might as well give them a supporter card. That's absolutely oh, dude. Broken. You know what you can do? Tell me. Uh, first turn Kiwi, and then Kui Kui. Second turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate you, but <laughs> but the cool thing about this is a lot of people don't know. You can attach this to any Pokemon. You don't need to attach this to just Fire types. It's any type in the game as long as you have the Fire Energies in your deck. So uh, I guess it's like a good way to set up a like Lele if you're not playing something heavy Volcanion, just to do big damage with Lele. It's always fun. Um, I don't know. Just options. Options are good. People, people, people sleep on options, but options are good. Um, Plumeria though. Ooh, my favorite girl. My favorite girl in Sun and Moon. I love her. I'm torn. I love I'm torn. her. I think she's amazing. And the reason why I think she's amazing is just because you have to discard to play here. I think discarding is so strong. People, I've been wanting a card that would help you, that would make you discard for the longest time. I've missed Ultra Ball. I've, I've besides Ultra Ball, I've I missed playing cards. Second like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I miss playing cards like what was that supreme uh, supreme energy retrieval or something like that superior energy retrieval so, yeah, cards like that cards that make you discard to play their effects uh, I wish it was an item card but whatever um, I think it's pretty good I think it's um, I think it's a one or two of in disruption decks yeah um, I mean being able to move any energy from the field is nice especially whenever you don't want to play hammers nowadays I think hammers are super bad right now so uh Plumeria is a nice substitute. I agree. Hammers. hammers are awful. Never play them again. <laughs> I mean, this meta is good for you, bro. People, hammers are just not playable right now. I know. Uh, I love it. Then we got Mount Lanakila. Retreat cost of each base Pokemon is, retreat, is increased by C. If any deck plays this, Wob it's going to be really annoying. Yeah, Wob besides Wob. It's going to be really annoying. Full Art Charizard uh, looks pretty cool. Full Art, Full Art ho -Oh looks pretty old. I was actually, I'm kind of disappointed in the Ho-Oh's Full Art. I wish yeah. it looked a little bit cooler because Ho-Oh was like Dude, one of the best Dude, they just needed to make like it fiery in the background. Dude, they can't. I'm sorry, but like Alone Muck looks so much lamer compared to like its original art. Its original yeah. art is so boss. But Noivern, Noivern looks majestic, bro. I love the way that full art looks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't take its nose seriously. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with its nose? <laughs> okay. Uh, Kiawe is what Ho-Oh's background needed to be. What is it? 
Oh, I agree. But I'm, I just have Plumeria on the field because that's all that matters. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep that with me as I scroll down. I love how she is like a reverse tramp stamp. I love it. <laughs> we got, we got Charizard here. Charizard Hyper Rare is gonna be worth like a million dollars. I hope I pull one so I don't have to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the only. That's like that's literally my only goal in this set because none of this set's gonna be expensive. Like even the secret rares aren't expensive except for choice band. Choice band's gonna be worth a little yeah. bit, but we'll get. Well, choice we haven't gotten to that yet. But then we got yeah. escape rope. I'll grab two of those muscle dumbbells. I'll probably get like two or three. I'll get one because I'm probably never gonna play it. If I oh, do same. play it, it's probably gonna be like a one of. <laughs> I'll grab two. I'll grab two just in case. Muscle. It's such a cool looking card though. I like. I like. I like. I, I want weights yeah. that have pokeballs on them so I can work out. <sighs> we got fire energies, anyway. bro. You getting those? No, you're not. All right. So Dark we're... is the only other one that I'm gonna do. Well, there you go. That's their set. We're going to move on to SM2+, Plus, which, as you guys already know, uh, is the expansion that's sun that uh, Japan gets, but we get it all together and uh, ignore the top cards, although we can geek no, out about them. No, we wanna... cannot ignore the top cards. Geek out, geek out while you can, bro. Just gawk. Just gawk <laughs> Look at, at all of them. I don't know Blacks why. I they finally f- got the art that I wanted. Dude, I love this full art, and I hope we get some sort of print like this because... That end I looks want a full so art dope. End. I already worked. I already worked so hard to get all my full art ends. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. But I just want. I just want this art. Looks is so yeah. dope. This art is actually so dope. I need like seven of these hex maniacs, uh, twelve yeah. of these oh, yeah. delinquents, and thirteen of these Karens. <laughs> and then also a couple of the team flare grounds. Because oh, that's oh, dude. Card. Yeah, I, I need four of these anyways because that's a sick looking card. That's dumb, and then. Man. I was telling Aura, I love how as soon as they print a Shaman secret rare in Japan, Shaman is now basically worthless. <laughs> well, not worthless. But that secret rare is like so cool. 30 it's, bucks, yeah. It's so cool. Bro, it's so cool. That Eveltal yeah. looks dope. Oh my god. I'm so... Oh, I, I, oh, I'm so mad. Just to let you guys know, I have a bad feeling we're never going to get these secret rare cards. But I can see us getting all these other trainer cards. But I'm not even sure, yeah. dude. I'm not even sure if we get these. That Hex Mania looks dope. Um, this, uh, I like the blacksmith with the Embor in the background. I don't know why they thought Shauna was good enough to print a full art of or Mega Sharpedo or Mega Camera Up. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Dude, uh, Mega Sharpedo is amazing. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. Regirock. I'm surprised plus. we didn't get Regirock in that box that had yeah. all these other cards. You'd think we get it. Age of Slash. That Age of Slash looks dope. But anyways, that's enough of the dope looking cards. Yeah. Um, Sophocles. Since we don't, since they don't have the descriptions for it in the page, if you guys don't know, Sophocles discard two cards, draw four. It's a supporter card. Um, with this, I think we have every full art of at least the uh, trial captains. I believe. Um, I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um, with that, full uh, art Bulu looks dope. Oh yeah, we get secret choice. I need to talk about these. Huh? Secret choice bands a thing that's probably going to be the most expensive card in the set. Um, bar Charizard. Uh, I don't know. It's, I don't think Marshadow is going to be worth more because Marshadow is just no. not great yet. At least, like, maybe maybe right away Marshadow will be worth a lot, but with time, I think Choice Man is going to be the most expensive. So For some darkness, reason, I'm going to have to get 11 of those. Yeah, good luck. Um, <laughs> I'll let you know if I pull any extra since I don't play Dark Decks. Um, <laughs> they have a uh, multi switch. For, for some reason. Like, they've been doing a good job of printing playable secret rares, but then they printed multi-switch. I don't really understand it. No. Hyper Rare Bulu. We're probably getting these. I don't know if we're going to get these in the set. At least the full arts. We Because, I don't know. Full Art Lycan Rock, Full Art Bulu, they came in promo boxes. So, I don't know if we'll get them in the set, or we might get promo boxes with full arts as well. Who knows? Anyway. So, on to the Pokemon. A uh, whole lot of nothing. And... Salazzle. GX. Uh, let's look at the pictures. Lady and it's so cool. Look at Lady and we got Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is something, right? I don't actually remember. Um, no. Tapu strike 60 damage. If you use his GX attack during this game, you do 60 more damage. For a 3 energy, not that great. Salazzle. Salazzle is going to be gimmicky as hell. Like, <laughs> 200 HP fire type Pokemon. All 2 energy attack, which is good. It's good attack cost. You can pair it with the other Salazzle if you want to, I guess. Um, Wicked Claw, 50 damage, Texas 50 damage, times the number of prize cards you've already taken. Nice and late game attack. <laughs> the uh, GX, the full art, is uh, elegant. Oh, AF. dude, I didn't see the full art yet. That looks clean. That looks clean. I, I'm a fan. Dude, the, dude, did you see the hyper rare? It has, like, flames 
things in the background. Like it's oh, cool. squiggly in the back. That's pretty dope. I'm a fan of that. Uh, uh, we finally have time. the we finally have the safeguard nine tails. Well, that's pretty cool. Whatever. I don't I don't know Blood how good Bear. it's gonna be. Do I want to play that? I might want to play a one of in my nine tails deck. Yeah, you will just for well Coco matchup. Oh yeah, the Coco matchup's kind of annoying. Not really with choice menu Oko them all. But I mean, I'm just saying, but, like, it, it's a good one of to just be like, okay. Yeah, to set up in the back if the format yeah. super slows down. I like it. I'm going to play one of. But that Tapu Fini, boy. That top. I'm so hyped oh, about Oh, by Tapu the way, Fini. Metagross. There you go. Oh, you right. You right. <laughs> we just stole out Metagross just the whole that game. Go for you. There you that go. go for you. When uh, we played, huh? There you go. Yeah, that's you. I forgot. I forgot. Because Metagross is bad. It's just convenient right now. <laughs> Dude, Tapu Fini, that hyper rare and full art looks amazing for Tapu Fini, yeah. and that's gonna be so nice in Nine Tails with a Hydro shoot, shoot 120 damage, discard two water energy, and just compare combine that with a uh, Nine Tails 50 damage that it does anywhere in the field. You're doing 170 damage wherever you want on the field. It's 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 good. It's good. I think it's definitely definitely a one of in Nine Tails. Aqua Ring is cool because you can switch, I guess. <laughs> Tapu Storm GX. Shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon, all cards attached to it to your opponent's deck. That's gonna be fun. I'll just shuffle back that Metagross with all of its cards. Also, it's it's your way of dealing with Metagross. You're not weak to steel, I guess. You can uh you can damage oh, them yeah, on the bench. Oh yeah, Metagross with the choice man definitely doesn't one shot it. Look, don't worry about it, bro. I'm shuffling that back in the hand. Dude, I am <laughs> trying to help you. <laughs> You're trying. That's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm pretty hyped if i have i definitely need a one of of the hyper rare to finish my maximum rarity i'm super mad right now bro i'm just gonna go on tangent here i'm like one secret rare dce short from having a maximum rarity nine tails and i am like i'm sorry in, my, in irl yeah irl i can't afford it right now because of my whole car thing going on which is really frustrating because i just i want it i want it so bad sticks i have three and i just need one more <sighs> electabuzz is about as angry as i am right now <laughs> I want, I want the, uh, I want the secret rare water to come out right before you get that fourth DC. I'm gonna be, dude. Don't. Never, why would you? Why would you so wish you this? Could never say. That why you would can, you that wish this on me? Rarity. Why would you wish this on me? <laughs> hey, Tapu Lele GX or Tapu Lele, it's really good. Uh, Psycho Waves attack does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's fine, but Magical Swap is dope. Being able to rearrange damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you I, like. I just want Sinister Hand Dusk Noir. I, I do too, but dude, we know you know how we talked about that uh, Poison deck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> don't move on. Let's, let's actually yes. talk about this. No. You don't want to? I'm not, because right. as soon as you bring up that Poison deck, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, next card. I can't I can't joke. I can't joke. Hey, no. Machamp GX. He's got that red fist. For some reason. Oh, crosscut could actually be good in this meta. Except never mind, it's weak evolution. to psychic. Moving on. <laughs> oh, that's pretty dope though. Two fightings for 120 damage. Yeah. Uh, strong energy. I mean, you may be weak to psychic, but you're also 250 HP, which means you're not going to get O code most of the time as long. So as you definitely early. only need like five items in the discard pile for Garbo. Don't, don't, don't play that. Then don't play the items. You know, it's what every other no person items says. At all. 62 yeah, just... Pokemon. <laughs> this Machamp Hyper looks cool though. Uh, yeah, he's moving on. Um, Soul Rock and Lunatone. No, mm, they're here, I guess. Lycan Rock. What does this do? Dangerous Claw. Thirty damage. Your opponent's attack is basic attack to study more damage for one fighting energy. It's not too bad, I guess. It's not good though. <laughs> I think Pokemon can't okay. Weavile. 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 Oh yeah, this is apparently really popular in Japan. Um, yeah, like that's gonna be scary. Ninety HP, free retreat, which is super handy. Um, Dark Awakening. It's like 60 damage each to every Pokemon play that has an ability. Um, that's really, really good. Um, there's not really much. Yeah, it's just good. It's just a good attack. It's a colorless attack. You can really tech this in on any deck you want. Um, you just think about all the decks right now with abilities. Like You can actually blow away any Lele in like two attack, three attacks as well. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how, how okay. it goes, how it does in American. This in American. is the card that I am so excited for. Darkrai GX. Go ahead. Oh, like this fits in perfectly with my expanded Turbo Darkrai deck that I love so much. Because, I mean, Battle Compressor, you just throw it into the discard pile with Darkness Energy. You just put it right onto your bench. Dark Rift, 130 damage. This is a way of dealing with car, uh, with Sickguard Carbank. I mean, just easy way of just knocking that thing out super easy not having to rely on lele for it uh dark ngx i play laser in that deck if your opponent's po active pokemon is affected by a status condition it's knocked out like 
Oh my gosh, this card is so amazing. <laughs> what do you think about it? In, oh, first of all, let's, let me talk about this before I forget. Dark End GX, this is going to be really, really fun in uh, Muck. Since it's probably going to be the GX attack that you're going to use, you just get a free knockout on anything in special conditions. Combined with Slazzle is going to be pretty fun. We're talking if you're about able to earlier. get, uh, if you're able to power it up. Yeah, which shouldn't be too hard. It's just two attachments have to use the ability. Um, yeah. Plus, you have that big tanky muck in the act that they have to deal with. But what do you think? What do you think about it in standard? That's what I want to know. Let me let me let me hear your opinions on it in standard. Um, especially post rotation, I mean... we're losing Skyfield, so. Yeah. yeah, I only like it as much as Turbo Darkrai is a thing. Yeah. I think it's only going to be good in that deck. I think, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. I can see potential in in a Muck deck. If Muck, I want to, I want to experiment with Darkrai GX Energy Switch, um, just because it's more acceleration of energy onto the field, and then you can energy yeah, switch it into the I right Pokemon. That. Uh, definitely something I want to try But it's only one, out. that's the thing. Yeah, it's only one energy, but really energy, that's why you play the energy switch, to put that one energy onto Pokemon that you actually need to attack yeah. with. Um, and then you just kind of let it sit there. And then you I don't know, for, for, for taking up a bench spot, I feel like it's relatively underwhelming it's getting one energy off of it. I agree. It's also a little bit not as strong as before because of its fighting yeah. weakness, because of Marshadow. Exactly. Um, but I mean, we saw, we see Dark decks doing really well right now. We've seen a couple mm -hmm. of Turbo Dark decks just really thriving so this is just kind of helping it out no so, you know what i'm just gonna let you take i'm gonna let you take these last two because i know you're going psycho over oh wish baton's cool i don't know I, i'm not gonna go psycho over wish baton well, because it's no, still a tool. not about this one but oh it's real i'm excited about but if this pokemon if this pokemon this card is attached to your active pokemon is knocked out by damage choose up to three basic energy attach to that pokemon move it to one of your bench pokemon i feel like it's it's interesting enough you can play it in coco you can play it in that wobble deck we we're talking about um other than that though i don't see this card being played very often uh, but I guess we will see. It depends. I don't know. We'll see. It's just the fact that it's a tool and field blower is a thing. So it's whatever. Yeah. Acerola, though. Acerola is the girl. All right. Acerola. Choose one of your Pokemon with damage counters on it. Return that Pokemon all cards attached to your hand. I love me a card that doesn't involve a flip. Super scoop up without a flip. But the thing is, it needs damage. It's not as... I don't know. It's debatable, right? Because like AZ, they put him into your hand anyways, but you didn't, you didn't need damage on it. But this one, you need damage on it, but you put everything back into your hand. I guess it's situational, but I think Ace Roll is very, very strong. Just uh, in a meta like this, where denying knockouts is just a thing now, I'm pretty, ha I'm pretty happy about that. I'm pretty happy about that. I like denying knockouts. I think it's, I think it's a really, really smart way to play the game. Um, but it also changes the game a little bit because we're no longer we have to avoid the two shot meta as much as we can. But I don't know without Seeker, it's a lot. It's a lot harder. I don't know. This, I'm, I'm pretty hyped about this metagame. This is going to be... Post-rotation is going to be my favorite metagame i played a Pokemon, I can tell. Yeah. I actually completely agree with everything you said right there. <laughs> hey, that's going to be the sec guys. Oh, you know what? There's a couple of other cards. Where's... um? Where's... What's her name? Olivia. I know that's a card we're getting in the next set. I don't know where she's, is, where she's from, though. I'm going to look her up Here really quick. Oh, uh, she's right up on the side. Uh, search your deck for up to two Pokemon GX and put them into your hand. See on the side? Where are you? Where? If you scroll up, All she's right. right up on the related news. Oh, stories. here it is. Oh, yeah. Another fan service card, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, because they don't. Apparently, Poke Beach doesn't have like a complete list. Like a complete list of, uh, <laughs> of the set for some reason. They just have like. That's just the most updated list they have. But yeah, Olivia's mm -hmm. a thing. Um, what other. What other trial captains are there? We have that dark dude, and uh, not trial captains, but island kahunas. We have we have Hala. We have Olivia now. Oh yeah. We're missing dark guy, and uh, that mud girl, Mudsdale girl. Oh yeah. I so. think okay. I think his okay. Here's my bold prediction for the new sets. His art, his uh, card is either going to be broken or useless. I don't think there's going to be any in between. I kind of agree with you. I think it's going to be like a three or four of in every deck, or a maybe one of, at, if that. Dude, that's so many full arts. We have way too many full arts. I'm okay with this. I'm not okay with but this. But then again, my wallet's not. Yeah, the, the, like fine. this is just the wrong time for me to <laughs> for me to have all these full arts. The set comes out what August second, I think, for us, or something like that. 
August fourth, I think. August fourth, right as I'm about to move in. Yeah, that's so that's so close. That's so close. That's so scary. This video has been an hour and twenty minutes long. We should probably yeah, I think end we, it. I think we, <laughs> My right. God, thank guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. This is Sticks and Aura signing out. I'm not letting him talk because this is way too long as it is. Why not? See you guys. Peace. Nope, I cut it off before you said that. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> oh God.